We ready? ready? Very good. Uh, dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and to bless the marriage of Donald and Helen in holy matrimony. The bonding covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ blessed this manner of life by his presence in the first miracle at a wedding, the wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the union between Christ and his church and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife and heart, body and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy and for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, y'all come now to be joined. Before God, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Don. Will you have Helen to be your wife, and will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? I will. Good. Helen, will you have Donald to be your husband, and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? I will. Thank you. I share with you a word of scripture from the Apostle Paul. It's in his, from his letter to the Colossians. Now, he's not talking about marriage, but a lot of good marriage stuff. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you are indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, bless Donald and Helen as they pledge their lives to each other, that their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to face one another. Right now, and I want you to remember this moment in time. Because after you make your vows to one another, no longer will the future be me and mine, you and yours. It'll always be us and ours. With that in mind, Donald, repeat these words after me. I, Donald, take you, Helen. I, Donald, take you, Helen. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Good. And Helen, repeat after me. I, Helen, take you, Donald. I, Helen, take you, Donald. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Good. Now do you all have rings? Mm -hmm. Very good.
Oops. And Donald, would you put Helen's ring on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of the, my covenant. As a sign of my covenant. And Helen, would you take Donald's ring and put it on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my covenant. That's a sign of my covenant. Very good. Let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God, whose love is a source of everything good, we pray that the knowledge of your love may inspire this union that's now begun. Grant that Helen and Donald, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together, seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty and grant them joy in their home. Father, keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life that shall have no ending in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, since you have pledged yourself to one another in the covenant of marriage and made your declaration before God, I pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Donald, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> right. <laughs>